This film will demonstrate the installation process of the full version of OpenLM for Esri Arc GIS desktop software. The OpenLM setup is composed of two separate parts, server and agent. At first, we install the server part, and then we install the agent on the workstations that use the FlexLM license software. In this case, it is the Esri desktop ArcGIS that runs on individual workstations. OpenLM can manage more than one FlexLM server and therefore it is possible to use it in order to manage all your licenses with just one single OpenLM install. Most system administrators choose to install OpenLM on the same server that already runs FlexLM. As can be seen on the top drawing, when FlexLM is running with Unix, or if access to the license server is not available, it is also possible to install the OpenLM server on any machine that runs Microsoft Windows operating system. Additionally, it is also possible to install OpenLM server on a personal workstation for testing purpose. However, this is not a recommended procedure for any production environment. We will start the installation by downloading the full version software from OpenLM.com website. Please click on the Downloads area in the main menu and look for latest version of the software. We have to download OpenLM server and OpenLM agent for Esri Desktop. Please note that .NET Framework version 2 is required and if it is not available on your machine, OpenLM Setup will offer you to download it. Once you download the zipped files of the server and agent, extract them and get ready to install the software. As you can see, we extracted the server and agent folders to the desktop in order to perform the installation process. We will start to install the server part by clicking on the setup exe that exists in the server folder. Check and accept the license agreement and then click Next. Some important notes are displayed at this stage. OpenLM Setup Program will display the default install path of OpenLM Server. Accept it or change and click Next. Click Next to start the file copy process. OpenLM is setting up the server and following to that the OpenLM Server configuration is displayed. We will fill in the name of the license server and port and click the check button. OpenLM server will now display the FlexLM report on the pop-up window. OpenLM is able to communicate with the FlexLM server, but if not, please look for the correct license server definitions. You can add many more license servers to be monitored by OpenLM license server. However, this stage can be done at any later stage. In this video, we will use only one FlexLM server. Therefore, we will now delete the new record we created. OpenLM started the OpenLM service on the computer and message is displayed for the user to see. At this point, it is possible to open the services window and to see that an automatic OpenLM server was added to the local services. In the next stage, we will register the software we downloaded and installed. The registration will allow us to send you updates about new software versions and critical updates, should any, will be published. We have now finished the server install process and we can start the agent install. Just like in the server setup, we will open the folder and click on the setup.exe file. In this video, we install the agent and server on the same machine. Remember that in real setup, the agent has to be installed on any workstation that uses floating licenses. Please accept the license agreement and click Next. The next window is providing important information about the agent install. The next screen asks for the name of the OpenLM server. In this case, it is localhost 
since we install the server component on this machine for this demonstration. As we can see, the approval mail for our registration was accepted and the agent configuration form opened up. All we now need to do is to check connectivity to the OpenLM server and as we can see, the connection was successful. OpenLM is now installed on the machine. In the following stage, we will perform few checks in order to verify the install of OpenLM. Please check that OpenLM Easy Admin interface is working. Also, please check that OpenLM agent can query license status. And most important, check that OpenLM can save and close ArcGIS project. We will check the Easy Admin interface. We will run OpenLM Easy Admin, the shortcut added by OpenLM Setup Program, and it will open in our default web browser. As we can see, OpenLM Easy Admin is displaying real-time data about the FlexLM servers. A detailed explanation of the functionality of OpenLM Easy Admin is included in a separate video dedicated just for that. In the next section, we will be testing the features of the OpenLM agent. Right-click on the OpenLM icon in the notification area to get available options. Click on License Server and the new window will open. The window is showing each license availability and allow the user to see which users are using the licenses. After completing the agent checkup, we will verify the ability of OpenLM to save and close ArcGIS documents. We will run ArcGIS, add one graphic on the screen and minimize the project without saving it. A bubble popped out of the OpenLM agent, located on the Windows notification area, announcing that the project was saved and closed. A single click on the bubble will reopen the saved project. Final steps. 1. Distribute agents on all workstations on your network. 2. If you have a production HTTP server, we recommend you to install the Easy Admin application on that server. You can continue to use the local web server which is provided as part of the OpenLM system. 3. Watch additional videos available at your website. 4. Please register to the OpenLM website and participate in the support forms. By registering, you are also making sure that all systems updates are being sent to you. And most important, you can now enjoy a high availability of licenses and a better user productivity. OpenLM is now set up and running and we hope that it will work for you just the same. If you have any problems whatsoever to perform these steps, please contact us and we will be happy to assist you.